it's Holly here from Red Squirrels Trust Wales and I'm at Tribble Botanic Gardens today and I've been asked a really cool question. So somebody asked me how many different species of squirrel are there in the UK? Now if you listen to the tabloids and go on quite a few different websites then you might be led to believe that we have lots of different types of squirrel in the UK. But the truth is we have two. So we have our native red squirrel and we have the invasive American grey squirrel. No more. The confusion comes because we can get our red squirrels in lots of different colours. We can get them in brown, orange, red, grey, white, black, and we can also get our grey squirrel in all of those different colours as well. And they have been reported as different species. Um, so basically what happens is our red squirrels have all different coloured variations of colour of coat, just like we do with our different coloured hair. Um, but we also have melanistic and albino squirrels. Now, melanistic squirrels, all of their fur is black, so they don't have the white belly. Whereas if you go somewhere like Nubra on Anglesey, quite a few of the red squirrels there have very, very dark, almost black backs, but they have the white belly. So they're not melanistic, they just have very dark coats. So when you're out and about, how can you tell if what you're looking at is a grey squirrel or a red squirrel? Because you might come across a grey squirrel with a red coat. And there's three things you need to look at. One is the size. Grey squirrels are generally twice the size of red squirrels once they're fully grown. The second thing is ear tufts. If the squirrel you're looking at has ear tufts, it's definitely a red squirrel. If it doesn't have ear tufts, it could be either because our red squirrels molt their ear tufts at different times a year. And the last thing you need to look at is the tail. Now, you can't really tell on these teddies very well, but Basically what happens is our grey squirrels have a white outline to their tail. Now that, whatever colour their tail is, whether it be orange or whatever, they always have this white outline. Our red squirrels never have a white outline. Again, doesn't matter what colour the tail is, it could be black, it could be grey, it could be orange, but they do not have the white outline. So those are the three things you need to look out for. Size, ears and tail.